I'm going to show you how I do one of my big abstract expressionist paintings on resin coated paper, which is called multimedia artboard. It's a wonderful surface to paint on. It gives a lot of pushback, which is great. So I start by just drawing randomly on this paper. And then I'll take one of my paper towels and sort of smear this around a little bit. Just how I feel like doing it. You can see that these kind of dry one inch brushes make a really nice dry pattern. I usually start with black to give it a little structure. We'll probably wind up with a lot of open space here, ultimately. Well, I'm kind of smearing the color around a little bit um, is mainly what I do. But that's not going to be the final version by any long stretch. We're kind of filling in the space a little bit. Now we'll go in with a little bit of black. And then we'll probably have to take a little break and let it dry for a few minutes. So sometimes these colors get sort of get mixed on the paper. OK, 
Okay, I think it's time to stop for a few minutes. We're going to continue on with this painting. It's, it's dried for a little bit of time, and it's sort of a fine line of knowing how much time to give it to dry, because you don't want the paint to be so dry that you can't make interesting smears and kind of mix colors, so to speak, on the paper. And I'm just going to continue to respond to the strokes that I've made um, with no kind of preconceived plan, kind of going back and forth with different colors, black and white. I think we're going to start with a little extra magenta. Not a whole lot. Just will be peeping through underneath when this thing is finished. can't believe I'm painting with the spring palette on a cold fall day in Santa Fe where it's about 35 degrees. Now I'm going to be going in with a bunch of white with my cake froster. adding more structure to this. Contemplating my next move. Maybe a little bit more magenta.
and a lot of it will get covered up. Now we'll probably go with a little more black. And you can get wonderful smears with this instrument. We're going to try this narrower version, see what happens. Be careful not to overwork this. And I think it's going to be done soon.
done.